Namaskar. My name is Akari Ueoka. I was born and raised in Japan. And when I was 18 years old, I came to Maui. And ever since then, Maui has been my home. I met my dance teacher, Sarala Dandekar, in 2005 here on Maui. When I saw her dance Odyssey, my jaw dropped, my heart was grabbed, and my journey to learn Odyssey began. Also, I have been blessed to learn with Guru Jelam Paransape of Mumbai at her school, Sumitale. I had heard about Jelam Thai from Sala, and in 2010, I was able to meet her in person here on Maui. Jelam Thai came to Maui with her mother to teach us a workshop. In 2012, I had my Manja Pravesha, blessed by Sarala and Guru Vishnu Tattvadasa's presence. Then, the following year, 2013, I visited Sumitale for the first time. I met wonderful friends and astonishing dancers. Also, I was given a chance to perform with Jelam Tai and her senior students. When I watched Jelam Tai perform a solo piece from the wings of the stage, something profound touched me. It was similar to when I saw Sarala dancing for the first time, and this time, it echoed at a deeper place in my soul. I found myself starting to cry. I still had one more piece to perform. Despite every attempt to hold back the tears, my eyes welled up. I looked straight down, keeping my face parallel to the floor, so the tears would drop directly to the floor. At that moment, I realized how much my soul wishes to study this art form. During the visit, I learned Manikya Veena from Jelantai. So when she kindly extended an invitation for me to perform at this occasion, honoring Padma Shri Sanjukta Panigrahi, I thought to dance Manikya Veena to dedicate it to Jelantai. Jelam Thai, I would like to convey my deep appreciation for the continued guidance and cheer from afar. Although we have physical distance between us, I'm often thinking of you and the Smitale dancers.
of San Francisco. I learned this piece, Jaya Bhagavati Stotram from Vishnuji. I performed it at a, a traditional Japanese theater in 2017. And the footage that you're about to see is an excerpt from that performance. I performed a full program there dedicating it to my late grandmother, Kayako Ueoka, who passed away this past year. The theater, Uchikoza, was built in 1916. My grandma was born in 1924 and lived right next to the theater, so they grew up together. There is a shrine within the theater property, and I prayed there before I began my program. On the backdrop of the stage, you will see a painted cedar tree. In the Japanese kabuki and no dance tradition, the backdrop is considered a mirror reflecting the tree standing among the audience. Gods are summoned to this tree. I like to imagine them watching me from the tree. My grandmother and I were very close, but at that time she had not seen me dance Odissi in person yet. So I wanted to show her me dancing Odissi, like a little child saying, Look, Grandma, look at me! <laughs> and another part of me sincerely wanted to thank her and my ancestors for giving me this body and life so that I can dance. I title the performance Uketsugu Inochi. In Japanese, Uketsugu means to receive and pass it on, and Inochi means life. It was a family-run program. My younger brother took care of the sound. My father took care of the lighting. My mom was the house manager. My cousins helped at the parking lot and at the front, ushering the audience. My uncles and aunts came. A childhood friend designed a beautiful flyer for me. Including my grandmother, five people 
who were present at the theater are no longer on this planet today. I am uh, grateful that I have met Odyssey Dance as it has given me a way to express my appreciation to my loved ones. My uncle, who was not a professional videographer and who unexpectedly passed away after this performance, played with the video camera. So sometimes it goes in and out suddenly. Even that is a fond memory now. When I performed this piece, I was thinking of another uncle battling cancer at a hospital. He also passed away shortly after this recital. Before going to the venue, I visited him and danced the shuroka part of Namami in his hospital room. He couldn't talk, but he cried and applauded for me.